Yes, of course it is. It's what's known as responsible investing. And if that's what came to mind for you, there's a reason. Interest in responsible investments has been on the rise over the last few years. Asking a little more from your money seems to strike a chord with a lot of people. It's true that not everyone has the same values. With responsible investments, companies are selected for portfolios using ESG criteria. ESG stands for Environmental, Social, and Governance. It's then up to the investor to choose a portfolio based on what matters to them. Environmental criteria relates to, this won't come as a shock, environmental issues. For example, you may want to know whether the company is acting responsibly when it comes to biodiversity, water management, and climate change policies, or whether they're involved in sustainable development. Social criteria refers to how the company handles the rights of individuals and workers. Some examples are equity, access to healthcare services, and education. And finally, governance criteria. Yes, I know it's not super clear, but it's quite simple. Companies are chosen based on sound management practices. In other words, we'd expect fair compensation for management and a diverse board of directors. There's a strong misconception that responsible practices can't go hand in hand with profitability, but that's not true at all. It's important to understand that companies in responsible portfolios are selected based on the same profitability criteria as those for traditional investments. Once this first screening has been done, ESG criteria are then applied, so there's no reason they should be less profitable. A number of studies have shown that organizations that are concerned with ESG issues perform just as well or even better than those that aren't. Another effect of implementing responsible business practices is that a company is well equipped to deal with change. These companies are stronger and more resilient, so they can better meet the challenges of our economy. The myth has been busted. It creates a ripple effect. The more investors that choose responsible investment solutions, the more companies will commit to responsible business practices. It's to be expected. They want to be able to benefit from that money. And there are also some bonuses. Fewer greenhouse gases, more women in the management positions, and better conditions for workers. And these are just a few examples. It's a win-win. And there's also what's known as shareholder engagement. I put my money in a fund that invests in companies that meet responsible investment criteria. This fund becomes, in a way, a shareholder of the companies. And as they say, one share equals to one vote. The portfolio manager who manages the fund becomes the ambassador for investors with these companies. They will be able to exercise the right to vote, discuss the issues with the companies, and if necessary, suggest changes to improve the responsible business practices. And that's how we can see real change. The beauty of all this is that it's no more complicated than a traditional investment. Responsible versions of most of the products you're familiar with already exist. Talk to an advisor and they can guide you. And if you're a fan of using online brokerage, no worries, they're also available there. No matter the issues that are most important to you, you now have everything you need to make the informed choices. It'll ease your eco-anxiety a little bit and it'll help you do your part. <laughs>